The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a young couple that was looking to buy an apartment. The husband came out of shore when he saw that there was a sign up that someone's looking to sell. He and his wife went to check out the apartment. There was an old woman. She seemed to be very lonely and she's looking to sell the apartment. And they ask her if they can see the apartment. And she gladly brings them in and she's talking to them and she shows them around the entire apartment. And they were very impressed with it. But when they asked her for the price of the apartment, she gave an astronomical number, a number that was way out of their league. They couldn't imagine buying an apartment that cost so much money. Okay, they'll have to wait for another apartment. A year goes by and there's no new opportunities. But once again, her husband sees that this apartment is still for sale. And so he and his wife call up and they ask, can they see the apartment again? Again, they come in and she says, can I show you around? And he says, sir, don't you recognize us? We were here a year ago. We just want to know if the apartment dropped in price. And she said, absolutely not. It was an astronomical number. It was way too high. No one was charging that amount for the apartment. And they asked her about it. And she looked at them and then she started to cry. And they said, what's wrong? And she said, I don't want to sell the apartment. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But I never speak to anybody. I don't have any interaction with anybody. I can't schmooze with anybody. But I realize that if I can bring people into my apartment, even if it's just for a superficial reason, then I can talk to people. And I can speak to people. And I can show emotion to people. And I can develop, maybe even for just a short while, a special relationship with them. And that's why I do it. And they couldn't believe it. Their eyes were filled with tears. And they thanked her. And they told her that they'll be in touch with her. And this fellow goes to his neighbor, the woman's neighbor, and says, do you know anything about that lady? He goes, yeah, I know that she wants to charge an astronomical amount of money for her apartment. He says, you don't get it. Listen to what we just heard from her. And he told the fellow what the woman said. Needless to say, they made up a rotation of people that would go and visit her and spend time with her. And these two individuals started an organization for those who are downtrodden and lonely. We have to be malbin shinayim lachaveiroi. We have to flash a beautiful smile, even at a stranger, because we don't know what they're going through, and we never know. Perhaps this smile will last them a lifetime. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to Inspire.org.